please look in the video description. CFG. If it's one foot wingspan, the CFG is one centimeter behind that point behind where the wings join the fuselage is one centimetre behind you can see the aerofoil shape that remains convex towards the rear of the wing which is really important because otherwise it will just stall violently if you don't have that convex curve going all the way to the reflex and also the front of the wings not any more convex, probably less than what the rear is. That's um, the aerofoil shape. We'll do another tutorial with the aerofoil shape on it. And get an idea of it. And the back, the, bo the, the bottom of the wing is slightly concave. That's also very important. And you see the reflex is right at the back. And towards the tip of the wing, it's concave in the, at the root of the wing. It progressively becomes flatter towards the tip. You see, and the tip seems sort of cupped in a little bit, so it's concave at the tip on the top instead of the bottom. But not much, not when it comes to the front of the leading edge because the front of the leading edge has always got to sort of be pointing downwards like you bend it down that like that you see into the wind just that little bit not this way you know that way so sort of down you know? and so it's sort of like a cup there you sort of do that you know a bit like a cup see there but you make sure the front doesn't come up like that is to make sure it stays straight and then cup the rest around that like that you see just on the tip and as that goes down there down see like that a little bit and get towards the front of the middle of the wing and you don't do it so much and then you bring it so it comes up a bit the leading edge goes up a little bit not much, you just pinch it with your finger every now and then. Like that, and that catches catches the nose and stays the that keeps the nose up. But where's you come towards here you go down a little bit, you see, to make them how it slice the wind properly. And when you, you sort of do that, see? Give it pitch. So do that, you know, like an angle like an, like that you see and that gives the wing washout for all you experts out there yeah, there's, there's a washout wing washout you see and pitch just like all flying wings get a little trick there copy that it's convex all the way through there on that part and it starts to, the reflex sort of starts there, you pinch it up there a little bit. Base. I got that from butterfly wings, the rear of butterfly wings do that. It seems to help. It stops it from stalling, I reckon. And then that turns into the whole big reflex. As, as I said, it's important to have the convex towards the rear of the wing all the way to the reflex, that's the big secret. It keeps it, it makes them June goon all by themselves, you know. If it's too much pitch, it'll, the nose will come down, if not enough pitch, the nose will come up automatically. And you just keep gliding around and around. And of course, of course because it's a flying wing, it's really efficient as well. It's basically like a butterfly, isn't it? proven design. <laughs> Thank you YouTube. Mm, happy fairies. <laughs>